Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, no Coca-Cola right now because I'm a supplement at the moment. But anyways, um, alrighty folks, ladies and gentlemen. So Laura Sullivan is officially released from WWE. Or it's like quietly released apparently last month or whatever the fuck. Um, I will say this, part of me kind of feel bad for the dude. But there's a part of me like, you can't, you fucking are a hypocrite dude. Like, he's, de he's definitely, yeah, no doubt about it. You should take account for his actions and shit like that. Uh, for like a lot of things he's done. But like, first of all, okay. This guy unfortunately got like just, the fact that, you know, he's kind of hypocrite. Like, and being a hypocrite because like, he did what he did, you know, as the Mitch Bennett dude. You know, his old persona. Um... When he was the Mitch Bennett person, when he was like, you know, in those t tapes. I don't know, I want to build up to that anticipation talk about it, but yeah, like, uh, yeah, that's what makes me, like, not give a shit, or whatever. But anyway, so, okay. So, Laura Sullivan. People are saying that this guy could have been some big monster heel. You know what I mean? He was played out as the big monster heel. He debuted on Raw. Attack Kurt Angle after he lost his match. So, definitely a waste of a Kurt Angle appearance after the night. You know what I mean? Definitely a darn fucking shame. He destroyed the Hardys and shit like that. He had a few with the Lucha Brothers and shit like that. And then he gets fucking injured. Then also, not only that, getting about bat, uh, bat his, his, um, his past... Came uh came into the way his past of uh, like racist comments. First of all, the fact that WWE like find him for just this past is retarded. It's not like he he was in the company doing that shit. So why would he get punished for something he did in the past? And if anything, how is it really racist calling for, uh, just talking about KFC relating to the black people and shit like that? If anything, those are jokes. You know what I mean? So that's something I would feel bad for. And, like, just basically just making Mexican jokes and shit like that. You know what I mean? And even homophobic jokes is funny. But definitely, he's a hypocrite. Um, doesn't help the fact that they found his gay pornos. Thankfully, I don't watch that shit. But, like, I don't give a fu I don't care about that. Because I'm like, you don't really not, though. But definitely, like, you know, him being a hypocrite. And it definitely gives people a bad name for people making fucking fun of fucking homos and shit like that. And then he goes on to do fucking gay porn as this Mitch Bennett persona. They came back recently and then fucking destroyed some jobbers, I guess. He even beat a party again. And then it's all a waste, you know what I mean? He says, I don't like bullies and shit like that. And then fucking... He's gone. He's fucking gone. Um, oh yeah, he was also originally gonna be slated to fucking appear. He was gonna fucking originally face Sean Cena WrestleMania 35 for fuck's sake. That would have been dumb. Thankfully that didn't happen. And, my god, that would be a waste of a Cena loss or a fuck. I get it, like, this guy was supposed to be the next monster heel. But I'm, uh, it just didn't make sense. Okay. This guy, unfortunately, has issues with anxiety and shit like that. I do feel bad for him about that. But you should fucking definitely take, you know, the fact that you have a bad, you know, how you represent yourself, you just have a bad past, and shit like doesn't help, you know what I mean? So I do feel bad about that. Oh yeah, and also another thing, like, the reason why apparently he was released and wasn't even being used. It was because that fucking... Not only because of his past. His bad publicity. His controversial publicity. Not only that. It's also because like... He was... He didn't want to overshadow... Rince didn't want him to overshadow Roman Reigns. Because he could have been the next monster heel. He wanted Reigns to be the next monster heel. That makes no sense. But anyway, he's like... I'm all, Like... Let's be honest here. It would... His past already ruined him. So like, what's the point even having him honestly? Because... Not only just his bad racist comments and shit like that. Just him gay porn that ruined them. I'm sorry. You're supposed... Men, wrestlers are supposed to be men. Masculine men and shit. And when they're doing gay fucking shit, that's, that's fucking shit. Okay? Um... But yeah, like... I do feel bad that he has anxiety issues and shit like that. But, like, come on. Like, you had a bad past. It didn't help anything. And also the fact that, um... 
I, I guess another, he's like saying now he's done with wrestling. He basically put out something like, oh, he's done with wrestling and shit like that. He does, like his anxiety got the best of him. His, his controversial past and also like now dealing with a loss of his family. He lost his father last year. I do feel bad for him with those issues, but um, like, come on, like, this guy wasn't really adding much anyways. He's not like fucking like, people are saying he could be the next Brock Lesnar and don't, no way he could have. Um, but if anything, it's like, you know, who really cares? It, what's done is done. So that's just my thoughts, like, could it have been a mis big monster heel shirt, but before finding out his gay pornos, yeah, but now fucking knowing he did gay porn, fuck Laura Sullivan there, fuck him. He can go back doing his Mitch Bennett persona, I'm guessing. That's his next big thing. He's done wrestling. Hello, fucking boys. <laughs> oh, sh That's what he's going to probably fucking do. I ain't going to fucking watch because I'm not Guido, really not, though. But for some wrestling fan, because there's a lot of wrestling fans now are fucking gay and shit like that. There's a lot of wrestlers themselves are gay. Like, hey, Lars, you can fucking start with those gay wrestlers. You can start with Ricochet, finger his ass, and shit like that. I don't fucking know. All right? So that's my thoughts about Lars Sullivan being released. It is what it is. What's done is done. I'm kind of glad he's gone because like, who gives a shit? Like, does part of me feel bad for him? Yeah. But I'm sorry. The guy wants... Once a gay, always a gay, and fuck the gays, okay? He's a hypocritical gay, okay? He's gay himself, but he didn't want to do it. He still did it, okay? Okay, fuck off. Alright. Go be, goodbye, fucking Lars. Let's see. <laughs> uh, there's nothing to say, alright? Alright, don't gonna say, P people. Drink your coal so magnificently. You know, get your gains and shit, get, have the muscles and shit, and that and shit, but fuck the bitches. You want fucking bitches to luck, like you? You fuck those bitches. Being masked and being men. Don't fucking do gay shit. Apparently the guy, he's, he's probably... Right, right now he's bisexual. He's probably fucking bisexual. He was like, also fucking talk about Stephanie. I thought that was cool. But then find out you're fucking gay and you're bisexual. Eh, you know what? Maybe you fucking... Maybe sh like, but I will say this. Definitely fucking getting fired for your past is dumb. And saying that, you know, Stephanie is hot. Like, come on. Why is you getting fired like, for your past? Come on. Alright, that's what I'm gonna say, people. Until next time, peace. Yeah, bye.